From the popular Camry to the best-selling F-150, from rolling in style in an Escalade to running hot in a Lamborghini Gallardo, I'll reveal seven dividend stocks that will pay for these cars. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogan. You know we love talking dividend stocks here on the channel, but today I wanted to try something different, something fun, and something I know you can relate to. Too often on the channel, we just talk numbers, the dividend yields, the dividends you collect on a stock, and it can seem just that, just talk. Today, we're making this real and turning the dividend income into something you can use. I'm gonna show you seven cars, a car for any budget, from the affordable Camry to the Lamborghini dreams we all have at one point. With each car, we'll look at one of the best high yield dividend stocks and how much you need to invest to have that stock make your monthly car payment. We're getting started, but before we do, you know I've gotta send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Now with each of these, we'll be assuming a six year car loan at an average rate of 3.86% and a 3,500 down payment. I'll be counting up to the highest yielding dividend stocks in the list and the most expensive car, so make sure you stick around for that. First up, the sensible Toyota Camry, one of the most popular cars out there and the only car in the top 10 that has competed in NASCAR. The new Camry comes at a base price of $25,400, which means your payment would be $341 a month. In fact, after moving to Tampa earlier this month, this was the first car we bought, a used 2019 Camry. The wife wants an Audi SUV, but me, I work from home and I roll cheap. To make that payment, look to Cross Timbers Royalty Trust, ticker CRT, with its 9% dividend yield and monthly payment. Now, not all the stocks in today's video will be those monthly dividend stocks. In fact, most are gonna put that cash in your pocket quarterly or every three months. I'll show you how much to invest next, but whether you're getting that dividend monthly or quarterly, it's gonna be enough to cover the total car payments. CRT owns royalty interest for 75% of net profits on oil producing properties in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. So despite the name, this is an energy stock and has done really well in the rise on oil prices this year. The way these royalty trusts work is really interesting though. The properties are owned and operated by XTO Energy, a subsidiary of Exxon in the Permian Basin, but CRT has bought that royalty investment to get the percentage share of profits each year and then passes those on to investors. And since it's just a simple pass through, there are very little expenses to run CRT and investors get a great dividend yield. Now, as a royalty trust, the dividends are taxed a little differently than other stocks that we'll talk about. The dividends you receive from a trust are counted as income instead of dividend interest. And at an annual dividend yield of 9%, investing $45,466 will create that $341 monthly to pay for your car. Hold up here. If I had forty-five dollars to invest, I'd just buy the damn car. Yeah, but then in five or 10 years when you wanted a new car, you'd be asked out. Invest that money instead and you'll always have that monthly income no matter what you wanna do with it. Okay, but come on. I thought you were gonna show me how to invest $1,000 and get a free car. Okay, let's be real here, folks. I can show you how to do some amazing things with your investments, but I cannot miracle your ass into a new car for nothing. Hold up now. Before you click out to some YouTuber that promises you the moon or head to the comments to vent, even if you can't invest that entire amount you're, we're talking about, like for example, the 45,000 to pay for the Camry, if you invest as much as you can, it's gonna make that monthly payment a hell of a lot easier and then you build up to that full amount that's paying for your car. For example, invest $10,000 and that 9% dividend produces $75 a month towards the car. Invest $25,000 and you're over halfway there with $188 a month in free cash flow. Later, I'll show you how to build your high yield dividend portfolio to grow even faster and some stocks with payouts as high as 15 and 18% a year. Next, the Honda CRV, the best selling non truck on the market with a base price of $26,400 for this year's model. That puts your monthly payment at $357 after the $3,500 down. Making that payment is Business Development Corporation Horizon Technology Finance, ticker HRZN with its 9% dividend yield and great total return over the last five years. Now, Horizon makes secured loans to venture and private equity backed companies in the life sciences and technology industries. The portfolio of loans is well diversified here by sector, geography, and company stage. Now, all these are gonna be those fast growing startups backed by venture capital and again, a great niche in healthcare and technology. So besides that high yield you get from that typical business development corporation, here you get a little bit of growth stock as well. The average yield on the portfolio debt is 16.3%, well above the 9% dividend yield. In fact, I think this is one of the biggest yield spreads I've seen in a BDC stock. 
Now that keeps the dividend safe and it's going to mean the stock price should continue to rise. Now that average yield on the portfolio is important and it's something we've talked about here on the channel before. You find this in the company's financial reports and for any BDC, it's critical that this number, that average portfolio yield is above the dividend yield. Now that average yield on the portfolio of loans is what the company is collecting. So it needs to collect more than it pays out in dividends or that dividend is in danger of being cut. Something that happens too often for a lot of these high yield stocks. Horizon is another monthly dividend payer, making it easy to plan those car payments. And while that 9% yield is more than five times the stock market average, it still means you'll need to invest $47,440 to earn enough to cover that 357 monthly payment. But now stick around because the dividend yields are going higher from here. The Ford F-150 truck has been the best-selling vehicle for more than 40 years, and I'm excited to see the EV model Ford has coming out. At a base price of $31,500, your payment is gonna be $436 per month. The F-150 is American made, but to pay for it, we're going with the only foreign stock on the list, shares of Valet, ticker V-A-L-E, and it's 11% dividend yield. Vale is one of the largest mining companies in the world with production in Canada, Brazil, and Indonesia in iron ore, nickel, and copper. And most of its mines have decades of operational life left. And because it operates heavily in those emerging markets, the cost of production is considerably lower. The average cost of copper production for the company is just $1,500 per ton, and half that from its major Salobo field. Now that's allowed Vale to commit to shareholder cash returns with over $19 billion paid out last year through its share buyback, dividend, and a special dividend in September. On that 11% dividend yield, you'll be able to pay your truck payment of $436 a month or anything else you want to use it for with $47,500 invested. We've still got four more dividend stocks and cars to highlight, including one stock that pays an 18% yield, but I wanna give you two tips on building a dividend portfolio to do this. Now we're having fun matching up each car with a different stock, but please do not think I'm suggesting you put all of your money into one of these stocks. Instead, invest across a portfolio of dividend stocks, maybe these seven and a few others to, to smooth out the risk in any one company, but, but keep that dividend high. Also, invest and reinvest your dividends for as long as you can. We all want that 50 grand laying around to immediately start collecting enough dividends to make that car payment, but the only way that happens is by reinvesting and earning dividends on your dividends. I used this chart in a recent video and really like the message here. If you invested $10,000 in shares of JP Morgan in 2017 and cashed out all the dividends each quarter, you'd now have just over $12,000 worth of stock. Now that's a decent return for just five years, but look at what happens if you reinvest those dividends you receive into more shares. By the end of those five years, you'd have an additional $2,100 and that difference is just gonna keep growing over time. Keep doing this long enough and not only will your dividend stocks pay for your car, but they'll also pay your rent as well. In fact, I'm gonna to link to another video in the description revealing seven monthly dividend stocks that will pay your rent. We're starting to roll in style now with one of the most popular luxury crossovers, the Mercedes-Benz GLC class. At a sticker price of $43,800, your payment would be $581 a month. Now I'm upping the down payment to $6,500 from here on out because if you're balling enough to roll in a Benz GLC, you can put a little more down. Now to handle that bigger payment, you need a bigger yield. And I found it in USA Compression Partners, ticker USAC, with its 11.85% dividend. USAC does one thing and it does it very well. The company provides compression services for natural gas producers, allowing the gas to be moved through pipelines. Focusing on just this one small part of the midstream component makes USAC the go-to for services and removes a lot of the reliance on natural gas prices. You see that volatility in natural gas prices here in the red line jumping up and down, but look at the green and blue bars here, adjusted earnings for the company. USAC has been able to drive stable and growing earnings even in the worst times for nat gas because it's built that business based on demand, not on price. But demand for natural gas is expected to jump 28% over the next 30 years, with US exports rising more than five-fold. The company has paid out a consistent dividend of over 52 cents a share quarterly since 2015 and returned over a billion to investors since the IPO. At $581 a month, or about $1,743 to cover your Benz payment every three months, you'll need to invest just over $58,000 on that 11.85% dividend yield to cover it. You know, we had to get a Tesla here on the list and the Model 3 is the most popular with a list price of $46,990 before rebates. Your payment here is gonna be $631 per month. Now, Carl Icahn and Elon Musk have had an interesting relationship to say the least. So it's fitting here that we're paying for our Tesla with Icon Enterprises, ticker IEP, 
and it's 15% dividend yield. Now, IEP is the holding company for Carl Icahn's investments and businesses in energy, industrials, auto parts, real estate, and pharmaceuticals. It also owns or has a controlling shares in some strong companies like Pet Boys, CDR Energy, and Vivas. What's really exciting about this though is the ability to invest alongside Carl Icahn, the original corporate raider of the 80s, which personally, and maybe I'm just too much Gordon Gecko, but I like that term much more than what investors are calling it now, those activist investors. This sounds too nice. Icon's history is one of the most interesting stories in investing, starting with his first takeover attempt of Tapan in 1978, forcing the sale of the company to Electrolux for $2.7 million profit. Even his unsuccessful takeovers, like the 86 bid for US Steel, make him money. He dropped his bid in 91, making $200 million on a $1 billion investment. Now, the usual strategy here is Icon buys up the stock or the company's debt for a controlling share. He then pushes for a change in management, spin off of assets, or an outright sell of the company. And the ability to move billions of dollars around quickly means company directors have to take him seriously. And even when he's not able to force that change, a lot of times a company is just going to pay him a premium on his investment just to make him go away. It's a win-win strategy Icon has perfected to make billions of dollars. And you're going to need some of that money to pay old Elon that $631 a month. On a 15% yield, investing $50,312 in IEP will pay for your Tesla. We've still got two more dividend stocks to highlight. Two with yields so high, you'll need less money to invest than it costs to buy the cars. But Nation, I've got to warn you on these high yield dividend stocks. You cannot just blindly invest in the highest dividend paying stocks you find. For example, information on Sunrow Capital says it's paying an outstanding 77% dividend yield. At that yield, you'd need to invest less than $10,000 to make your Tesla payments. And the problem is, if we look at the dividend history on this stock, it's all over the place and, and the payout has been continuously cut from over $2 a share last year to just 11 cents currently. And beyond that dividend cut, these high yield stocks can often destroy shareholder value over time. And shares of Loan Depot may look great with a 17% yield until you realize the share price has fallen 94% just in the last year. Not only is the dividend likely unsustainable, but if you ever need to sell the shares, that cash return is wiped out with stock losses. So what I've tried to do in these seven stocks is to find a balance between high dividends and the share price. Each of the stocks in the video is up over the last five years, so you're not just earning that dividend check, but you're also growing your portfolio. Well, we're getting back to our list of dividend stocks, but I wanna get your input on this as well. Does that price return even matter to you in dividends? Let, let me know in the comments, would you rather that higher dividend yield, even if it comes with a falling stock price, or do you want a little bit of both? Slightly lower dividend yield, but price returns as well. The Cadillac Escalade is the most searched luxury vehicle, and if you've ever ridden in one, you know why. Cadillac helped make tanks in World War II, and this thing is like a tank and a caddy had a baby. At just over $76,000 though, the grunts like me are gonna have to save their pennies for a $1,088 a month payment. Paying for your Escalade is one of my favorite long-term trends and CVR partners, ticker UAN, with its 16.8% dividend yield. CVR is a leading producer of nitrogen fertilizer with facilities in the Midwest and production of 1.6 million tons a year. Grain prices hit records earlier this year and the rising global population is driving food demand. With arable land use and agriculture falling each year, that means higher fertilizer usage to increase crop yields to satisfy that demand. Global nitrogen demand is expected to increase by half a percent annually through 2030 and could go even higher. As a master limited partnership, CVR is focused on investor cash return. And that 16.8% yield means you only need to invest 77,700 to cover your payments, about the same as it would take to buy the truck, but you're gonna get that cash payment forever. For the champagne wishes and caviar dreams out there, the Lamborghini Gallardo, the most widely sold Lambo with 14,000 produced. Even the latest model here, the 2011, sells for a base price of 93,500, which puts your payment at $1,356 a month. Big Dreams needs a big dividend, and Misabi Trust, ticker MSB, pays the highest yield of the group at 18.65% annually. Misabi is a steel royalty trust with an investment in mines operated by North Shore Mining, a subsidiary of Cleveland. Cleveland Cliffs. And our North Shore mines the ore, processes it into pellets, and sends it off to Cleveland Cliffs, and then pays Masabi royalties based on the selling price. So Masabi has no operational duties here or costs. 
it just a trust that receives the royalties. And that means the return here is going to be a function of iron ore prices, which hit multi-year highs recently, but are still below that peak of 2008. Goldman Sachs believes we could be heading into a new commodity super cycle. And as that money from the infrastructure bill gets used, my guess is prices are only going higher. Now, this is also one of the longer life trusts in the list with an estimated reserves of nearly 800 million tons and over 15 years left to production. The trust pays quarterly dividends instead of monthly, but has increased the payout 78% over the last year to April. On that 18.6% dividend yield, you only need to invest $87,250 to cover the monthly payments on your red hot Lambo, less than it would cost to buy the car outright. Click on the video to the right for the seven monthly dividend stocks that will pay your rent. Get paid every single month and let these stocks pay your rent for you. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.